I like the person looking at the art to have to make up their own story about it because that's what I like about art. So these pieces, the brighter, these brighter pieces over here are also very inspired by music because I listen to music all the time and I love jazz and I love the abstraction of that kind of music and that's sort of the inspiration for those. I keep a, sort of a, you know, a drawing journal or a diary of drawings forever, just hundreds and hundreds of books. And, and if something can live in my sketchbook for more than two weeks, then it begins to have some consideration that, you know, maybe there's some, something here or, you know, some part of it is combined with something else as well. And so that's where all that stuff comes from. And you know, I grew up uh, in farm country in Kansas, and and just always fished and always, you know, caught crawdads and all that stuff, turtles. So all that comes back, I think, really. Uh, so I'm pretty literal, really, when it turns out. You know, very, it's very abstract, but I, I guess you know that's just my nature. So, but that's you know, cartooning, uh, sketchbook drawing all the time. My background, I guess, in the country, and. Uh, this is kind of a joy of making stuff. If we start with the particular pieces, what happens is in my shop, they sort of uh, happen. And then I take them to Mary D without any idea of what's going to happen. And she does it. And I come in and go, oh, cool. <laughs> so that's it. That's really the process that we have. Um, I spent a lot of time cartooning and stuff like that. And, and we've been doing work together for so long that it's it's just whatever literally whatever rolls out is what happens so i just yeah. paint i just so, do the painting she gets it all in white you know other than the rusty metal and then she just does what, whatever occurs to her to do yeah you know the whole thing started with we we had this series of women carrying things on their heads because women run the world and do all the work and carry everything so this <laughs> right was, this was the uh, that was the inspiration but then it evolved into uh, stuff on top of your head and stacked up and things like that so you know there's never anything really very tight about any of it it's all I don't know let's try that let's try that so, yeah. so each piece is just you know they just happen sort of as they as they fall out. Mm -hmm. So those are back to collaboration and we would make up a whole bunch of frames and then cut, cut copper to you know fill them up and so you have this whole freedom of just you know let's put something in that box and whatever occurs to you can just go on. So I do that with pounded copper and then give it all to Mary D once again and the joke is, it was misquoted some places, but I never have to finish anything. But in that magazine <laughs> article, they have me saying that, which is really funny, because it's not true. No, no. <laughs> you have to finish everything. <laughs> I did a whole long series of birds and before I got off into this world of abstraction that I'm in now. But uh, I love birds. I love everything they represent is uh, about flight and freedom I love. <laughs> I really don't know where this stuff comes from. It's, it's one of those things that uh, it just does. And uh, because people buy it, I guess we keep doing it. And, and, uh, and, but I love, I love giving something to Mary D and not having a clue as to what she's going to do with it. I just love that. And we seem to enjoy that together.